guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Jen and today I have my weekly Walmart grocery haul for you today's order was two hundred and twenty nine dollars and some change so right around two hundred and thirty dollars this is for one week and includes food items and I did need a couple non food items I do have somewhat of a meal plan to share with you as well. So some of the items I can explain better to you. I'm like a complete mess this week. I don't know. I felt so disorganized doing this grocery pickup. And it was like so difficult to make my meal plan this week. It's so hard to decide what to make. So here is the meal plan. I have Saturday and Sunday of next week still open. I literally don't have a clue. I'll have to go back to the store when I decide what are for those days. But these are the other meals. Today is Monday. I was going to make this shredded crock pot, this crock pot shredded chicken, like with gravy on top of mashed potatoes. I was gonna make that this um, today, and then I totally forgot to put it on this morning. It's not on, it's not up. So actually, we'll figure out today, and then I'll put that meal down here. So anyway, with that being said, Monday, don't know. We'll figure that out. Tomorrow, Tuesday, I do know we're going to have burgers and fries. Wednesday, white bean chicken chili that I meant to make last week and we didn't. Thursday, French bread pizzas. Friday, um, this is a new recipe. I can't wait to make this. I love Mexican food. It's an enchilada casserole. Um, go to my Instagram. That's going to be your best bet to see like the recipes I make. Because I want to make a what's for dinner video but if i end up not you can definitely see all the dinners i make on my instagram stories and the link is down below okay so let's just get started with the haul we needed about two gallons of the two percent white milk i have three loaves of the bunny soft twist this is our favorite kind of bread well at least my son's i don't really care i don't even really eat bread often then for the French bread pieces, I have two of the bakery, like, what are they called? They are called French bread. Yes, I knew that. <laughs> and back here, I have one, two, three gallons of the natural spring water and one of the distilled water. That's for my husband's CPAP machine. I have some of the Wonder Sub Rolls. That is for sandwiches for lunches. One of the King's Hawaiian Rolls. I think that I need two, but I bought one, but that'll be okay. I got to go back to the store anyway. I have 12 of the brown organic eggs. We have been buying our eggs locally at a farm to support them, and their eggs are amazing. They're like all the um, chickens are pasture fed and stuff, and they are so happy and healthy, and the eggs are amazing. But we needed eggs like now, and we can't go get them from the farm till Thursday. My son, my 16-year-old son, wanted some of these Dan and Light and Fit strawberry cheesecake Greek yogurts. It's like in the little cups. Then my, um, I'm sorry, my 18-year-old daughter and I like this Caesar salad kit. I got some very green organic bananas. Holy heck. Three Roma tomatoes. And then back here, I this is the only substitute, I'm pretty sure. I wanted medium cheddar, and I got the mild cheddar, which is fine. Also some bologna, the Taco Bell seasoning. This is our favorite seasoning. This, along with these little Mission yellow corn tortillas, is for that new enchilada casserole I'll be making. I got two of these Adirans blackened chicken alfredo me and my oldest son like those just for a quick lunch i got more of the quaker chewy chocolate chip bars i usually get them at costco but i wasn't there uh for a pack of the monster energy drinks some of the grand's cinnamon rolls we like to have those some nights my 16 year old son asked for some of the campbell chunky classic chicken noodle soups these are his favorite the black beans is for the enchilada casserole and also these three Old El Paso red enchilada medium. Those are also for that casserole. I got three of the Propel electrolyte water flavorings. One 
energy lemonade water flavoring back here this isn't just a random basket sitting around i did just buy this we needed another basket these are my favorite kind that i get from walmart they're just the square ones and they're really sturdy and really nice i like those i got the smart food white cheddar popcorn this is amazing and then my daughter likes the sun chip garden salsa i'm not a fan of those actually i have a couple of the little debbie snacks the strawberry shortcake and then the cosmic brownies and then also the hostess cupcake so i just like to have a couple of those kind of snacks in the house my oldest son and I really love this Edwards turtle cream pie. It is so amazing. Highly recommend. It's frozen and then you just put it in the refrigerator and let it thaw out. So this will be good for this evening for dessert. Let's see. I think this is the last food item. Blue Bunny Bunny Tracks. Another family fave. So yeah, I do think that's it for the food items. My husband is actually currently over at Costco right now. It's like a 25 minute drive from us. So I was at Walmart doing this. He was over there already. So he's like, I'll run in there and get a couple items. It's not a lot. So I'm probably actually gonna just throw that into the end of this video. So keep watching till the end so you can see what I got from Costco. That's why you see like no cases of water and stuff. Okay, so. For the non-food items, um, I needed more of these. These are my favorite. I know they're plastic, I'd rather glass, but these, I'm pretty sure these are all BPA free and all that stuff. But the Rubbermaid take-alongs, how many are in here? There's four. I send food home with some of my older kiddos that have moved out. And sometimes I get the containers back and sometimes I don't. <laughs> so I'm always needing those. Oh my goodness, I was so happy. I know, adulting, right? I was so happy to see Scrub Mommies were back in stock. They've been out of stock for months. And so I picked up two, that's why I got two, in case that happens again. But mine looks so sad, you're not gonna believe it. Let me show you. Look at this, look at this poor soul. She's been used and it looks like abused, but just used, I promise. This poor thing, this side looks fine, but I don't know. We've used it so much, she's fallen apart. So I was extremely happy to see they had more. So yes, got two of those. Also the containers I showed you. And then, okay, health and be Oh, well, no, this one's kitchen. We needed some of the stainless steel cleaner. This one is my favorite because we have stainless steel items. And then, okay, for health and beauty, this is what my... Don't mind the sodas, that's from last week. My um, son, my 16 year old son, has a very sensitive skin. Can't really see it. And so he needs very sensitive body wash. And we found this one works. This is called Raw Sugar Simply Body Wash. Sensitive skin, green tea, cucumber, aloe vera. It's, my son's skin is very sensitive and it always has been. And he has allergies. So we found that this one works super great. Also, this is our favorite body wash. Don't you love my stand? I keep putting it on the ice cream. This is, I'm sorry, did I say body wash? This is our favorite body lotion. Dr. Teal's is more of a, shall I say clean? I don't, I don't think it's 100% clean. Eh, look at all those ingredients. I don't know. I think it's just a little better than some of the others. So this is the Dr. Teal's body lotion. In eucalyptus and spearmint we really really enjoy this we use this I sometimes even put this on my face if I'm too lazy to put my face lotion on <laughs> and definitely on my body after a shower um, my family I use native like body wash and um, body soap and all this stuff but the rest of my family really likes the Pantene shampoo can't this is a shampoo conditioner I can't seem to get them off Pantene but that's okay for now I was out of the hair oil, and this is one of my favorites. It is the, is it OGX? Is that what it's called? Um, maybe not, but it's the Argan Oil and Morocco hair oil. This is very good. All right, I think I have two items left. They are for the office. I was out of ink, so I got... Man, the lighting's crazy in here today. I have my lights on. That most likely is the problem because it's like rainy outside. 
So here we go, HP 67 XL black ink. I need it for my printer and then copy paper. So there you have it. That is what was needed this week from Walmart in July of 2023 at $230. I remember when an island full of stuff, this would have been like 185 or something like that. And that wasn't even that long ago. So yes, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click that thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I do post weekly grocery hauls every week, obviously. I was gone for a bit, but now I'm back and I can't wait to keep going. So yeah, if your family eats any of these items, comment below. And also comment below, what are you guys having for dinners this week? Like what's on your meal plan? Because I'm always wanting new ideas. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Okay guys, as promised, I'm back. It's like an hour later after my Walmart haul and my husband just got home with a couple items that we needed from Walmart. So I thought I'd throw it in the end of this video. So from Costco, we got this big package of their Kirkland paper towels. Those are our favorite. And the Kirkland toilet paper. Um, I needed the bags of Mexican shredded cheese, but apparently there was a miscommunication and he bought the craft singles, which we do use, but we didn't need right now, but I guess that's okay. 96 slices. Wow. Expiration November. So I'm not sure. We'll have to get that eaten. Oh, um, I've been needing the liquid IV. So I told I'm, I've already opened it. Um, I love the strawberry. The strawberry is my favorite, but strawberry only comes now with the strawberry golden cherry pack never had the golden cherry so i was excited to try it and i did just try it for some reason it tastes super salty to me the liquid ivs never taste salty to me and i've been using them for over a year so i'm not sure if the golden cherry one is more salty it says it has the same sodium but i'm gonna drink it it tastes good but for some reason it's salty to me does that mean i need it right now or something i don't know also he picked up i told him to get the smarty pants for kids my one son still uses that and i didn't put it on the counter because well they're heavy we got two cases of the drinking water the dr pepper wasn't from this week that was from last week but he did pick up the big case of mountain dews from costco and lastly, I didn't expect this. He brought home the red and yellow roses that I've already put in the base. Sorry, my desk is kind of a mess. It's in here on my desk already. The yellow ones were in great condition, but all of the red ones were falling apart as I was putting them in the vase. So I guess that's why they were on sale, but either way, they're very beautiful. So yeah, I told you I would throw this into the end of the video. So I thought that's what I would do. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Talk soon, guys. Bye.